Hey guys, so welcome back. Today I have a video talking about foundation, hence why I do not have any on because I'm still on the hunt for a good foundation. But I will get into that more as we get into the video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So last week I tried the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation. I only had it on for about like two hours, if that. And so I, I had it on, I wore it, and then I washed my face, went to bed, I woke up. The next day I had three new bumps on my face. And I was just so confused as to why this happened because my skin is usually pretty clear. So I knew had this the, those bumps that came from the foundation that I wore, but I didn't understand why this foundation was breaking me out. So I got online and I, I got on YouTube specifically and I was looking up like foundations for sensitive skin, you know, because I do have sensitive skin. So I'm always hesitant about what I use on my skin. Um, in my search, I found that people were doing something called uh, a foundation oil test. And so I thought to myself, maybe this is why foundations have broken me out in the past or I have worn foundations that don't feel comfortable on my skin. Like they make me want to like scratch them off. Like it just doesn't feel right. Or like I, with the NARS, I'll wake up the next day or while I'm wearing it, I will feel, I can feel the bumps coming or the next day I'll have bumps. So I was like, okay, well maybe this is why I have this problem. So I decided to try it with the foundations that I already had. So the foundation that I already had were the NARS Sheer Glow, the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, NARS Natural Radiant, the Laura Mercier Candle Glow, Maybelline Pro Matte, the Urban Decay Naked Skin, and then I had two primers. And so from this group of foundations, because I do have some more, you can see that the NARS and the Urban Decay pretty much have the same amount of oils. I don't really know, like, I don't know. I'm not like, a, I'm not an esthetician, so I'm not like well versed in the knowledge of skin. But just to me, it seems like the more oil, the worse it will be for your skin. And so, as you can see, the NARS Natural Radiant and the Urban Decay have the most oils. And the Maybelline Pro Matte has the least amount of oils. I decided to do this one because of the NARS Natural Radiant and two because I just need a new foundation. I was wearing the Laura Mercier Candlelight Glow. That was like my holy girl, my go-to. I was going to Sephora all the time just to get new samples because I was not trying to pay $50. Like, I would just go in there and act like, you know, I just want to try a new foundation. I'm looking for a new foundation. But whole time I have tried it, liked it, loved it, worn it five times, you know? So, but I, I had to find another one because the shade range is pretty limited. Like, Laura, girl. It's 2018 was T, and so the correct shade in that foundation the shade that I will say not the correct shade the shade that worked um, was still a bit light but the girl in Sephora and I we added the cover FX color drops to it and it worked but the foundation is $50 the color drops are another $50 that's $100 I'm not paying for that so it's another reason why I'm looking for a new foundation because I don't have one. Went online to Sephora and I looked into these foundations a little bit more. I looked up the finish and I looked up to see if they were oil free. For the NARS Sheer Glow, it just says that it is a radiant finish. It did not specify whether it was oil free or not. And that's this one right here. And it's not a terrible amount of oil if you compare it to this one. It's not a lot, but in my opinion, the less the better. Um, the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. It didn't have a whole lot of information on it. It didn't say like what kind of finish it was, but it is a tinted moisturizer. So it's just like a lotion with color, basically. That's what I think. And then the NARS Natural Radiant, it did claim to be an oil-free foundation. And it said that it had a radiant finish. As you can see here, that is not oil-free. But I mean, I don't know what that, like, I know obviously it's oil, but I don't know like how can it be oil-free if it, if this happens, but it's like, you know, there's, million different oils so I don't know but either way and so then we have the Laura Mercier candlelight glow it didn't specify that it was oil free and it said that it had a radiant finish not a bad amount um the Maybelline Pro Matte had basically no oil like a very 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 small amount the Urban Decay Naked Skin I didn't write that one. I didn't even look that one up. Let's look that one up now. 
Um, that's one of the the Urban Decay Naked Skin is one of the first foundations that I wore. I actually took my mom's when, back when I was like just getting into foundation. I probably shouldn't have done that because me and my mom we are two different colors. She's actually a little bit darker than me, so I really had no business wearing her foundation. But on Sephora's website it says that it is a matte finish, um, a demi matte. So it's not like super drying, but it is still a matte. But it doesn't say that it's oil free. And that is a lot. And then this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Um, it does say that it's oil free. And then we have the Too Faced Hangover Primer, which is, um, it doesn't say it has oil in it. It says that it's silicone free. It has coconut water in it, so I don't know if that means there's coconut oil in it as well. Not bad. And so, because these, the other batch of foundations that I have are ones that I just picked up and I've never tried. Um, these are some, some of these I have tried, some of these I have not tried. Of these, the Laura Mercier, like I said, that was my, like, go-to holy grail. I don't recall ever having a problem, like, feeling uncomfortable with it on my face. I already told y'all about the NARS Natural Radiant. Mm. I don't, I don't think I've tried the NARS Sheer Glow. The Maybelline Pro Matte, I have not worn it in a long time. Like, I have not worn it since I was in undergrad. And I was in undergrad. I have been out, I've been out of undergrad for two years. So, it's been a while since I've worn it. But I will say, I do recall this being a fave of mine just because it was a matte. I will say it's been, it was a favorite matte finish foundation of mine i don't normally like matte when i look for what i look for in a foundation is basically my skin but better i'm not trying to hide anything i'm not trying to cover up anything i just want my skin to be look more even um <clears throat> so that's all i'm looking for i'm not looking i don't want to look dry and cakey and matte it down i like to look dewy and moist and just fresh when I wear foundation. I do remember wearing this and I didn't have a problem with it. It it worked okay. And the Urban Decay Naked Skin, I also haven't worn that one in a while, but I don't remember feeling uncomfortable wearing it, but it, it has been a while. And then the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, I have worn that once and I did feel uncomfortable wearing it. Uncomfortable meaning it Made me want to like scratch my face off. Like I said in the beginning, it just didn't feel right on my skin. And the Too Faced Hangover Primer is one of, it's the only primer that I use. Before the Smashbox, before the Too Faced, I was not wearing primers. Just because I was already pretty picky about what I was putting on my skin. And I didn't know like what I personally needed in a, in a um, primer. So the Too Faced Hangover is working pretty well for me. Although the oil is a bit much, I will say I have not had any issues with it. After I did this first test um, of the foundations, I went on Instagram and I asked people what foundations they liked. And I also did a little bit of research of my own to find out what foundations I wanted to try. So I went to Sephora and I got some samples of foundations. Here we have the NARS All Day Luminous um, Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Fenty. Too Faced Born This Way, Lancome Tint Idol, Makeup Forever HD. So from this sheet, I will probably say that NARS is the winner for most oil. And Bobbi Brown is the winner for the least amount of oil. And Tint Idol is not bad, the Lancome Tint Idol. Um, let's get into what, what the Sephora website said as far as them being oil free what kind of finish. So for the NARS All Day Luminous, it says that it is a natural finish and oil free. I'm going to have to look up and see what, what oils is it free of because this tells me otherwise. Like this test tells me otherwise that there is oil in these foundations. The Bobbi Brown Longwear Skin Longwear, it says it is a natural finish. It did not claim to be oil free, but it still does not have a bad amount of oil. The Fenty is a matte finish. I believe it is a demi matte finish, um, but do not quote me. And it does claim to be oil free. Not a bad amount, not terrible. And then the Too Faced Born This Way. Um, it is a radiant finish and it is oil free. Again, not terrible, but my mind, the less the better. Um, the Lancome Tint Idol is a matte finish, oil free foundation definitely not too much oil not an alarming amount and then the last one we have is the makeup forever hd and it does claim to have a natural finish they did not mention anything about being oil free 
So from this, I have gathered that for me, my top three go-to for right now will probably be the L'Oreal Pro. The, the whole name of this, I don't know why I wrote Maybelline. If I've been saying Maybelline, I'm so sorry. It's actually L'Oreal. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This is it. I would probably say that's probably like my number one pick because I have tried it before. I did like it. But I probably do need to buy a new bottle because I've had this one for a long time. My only con to this would be the shade range. But Maybelline has been doing pretty well about expanding shade ranges. So um, there may be more shades. But for reference, I'm the color Coco in this. But I don't know if this is the right shade because, again, I have not worn it in forever. So another con with drugstore foundations, you can't, like test it out right there in the store I mean, you can if you want to but that you know you don't want to bust up in the seal right there in the store so that'll be that's probably my number one choice and then my next two would probably be bobby brown um the skin longwear and the lancome tint idol my only reservation with the lancome is the fact that it is a matte finish i like i said i do not like matte finishes but the amount of oil it might be doable and when I mix it with the Too Faced primer it might work okay. This hangover primer is a moisturizing primer. So it might mix well. I don't know. We'll try it and see. Um, and then the Bobbi Brown Longwear. This will probably be the next time I wear foundation it will probably be this Bobbi Brown. Just because I know what the L'Oreal is like. I'm not in a rush to try out a matte foundation. And then this one is just a natural finish. And like I said that's what I like. So that's probably my go to. If I was an oily girl, which I am not, my skin is just sensitive, it's not dry, it's not oily, it's just pretty regular. Besides the fact that it's sensitive, it's all get out. Um, if I was an oily girl, I would stick to the top three that I just said, the L'Oreal Pro Matte, the Bobbi Brown, and the Lancome. But I would also give Fenty a try, because it is a demi matte, and the oil is not terrible. An oily girl. Also, I would suggest to you to stay away from NARS. From all of these, you can see that the NARS ones basically have the most oil out of all of them. You might can also get into the Laura Mercier Candlelight Glow. But again, the shades are limited. And in Sephora, they did take away a couple shades. And you can only find them on like Laura Mercier's site. And also, I think, at Macy's. So, eh, you know. Shade range is limited there. I'm trying to see any other ones. And I mean, the Too Faced Born This Way and the Makeup Forever are not bad, but I would, there are other options. I'll say that. You know, there's other options with, le with less oil than those. So, my conclusion is I will be trying the Bobbi Brown and the Lancome. I've already tried the L'Oreal, but I probably will get another bottle. I don't know when I'm going to try those because I do not wear foundation on a daily basis. I probably wear foundation twice a month and that's probably a reach. It's probably once every other month. So I don't know when I'll try them. Maybe I can do a follow up video when I do try them and let you guys know how that worked for my skin. Because what I can't have is every time I wear a foundation, I feel like I want to claw my face off or I feel, you know, or I get these bumps on my face. Like I don't want that to happen. So I'm crossing my fingers that Bobbi Brown will work for me. And I might invest in a full bottle. You know, I might skip out. If it does me justice, Bobbi Brown, you will get my coin. But we'll see. So, guys, that's all I have for you. I hope that you guys learned something from this. Let me know if you try this out with the foundations that you have. And share with me what you guys find. I'm interested to know what other foundations you guys are interested in and how much oil they have. Um, let me know this is helpful by giving me a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and like. Thumbs up. And I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.